Mom, where did you go? So in celebration of Mother's Day, I thought it would be a good idea to pick some Mother's Day books that had been approved by the ultimate source, my mother. <laughs> so with me here is Marjorie Karp. She is a devout reader of all books, and she has been since I was a kid. And I'd just like to talk to you now about some of uh, your favorite Simon & Schuster books. So the first is Bear Town uh, by Frederick Bachman. And Bear Town is the story of a small town that erupts in controversy. First thing I want to tell you is I did learn a lot about hockey. And the controversy in the story just infuriated me. It's an example of why Frederick Bachman is such a compelling novelist that he could make you care about hockey. Because let's face it, you've never expressed any interest in hockey to me. I have not. <laughs> okay. So the next book is Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. And uh, you had a rather strong reaction when I handed you an early copy of this book. The first thing I said to you is, how could you publish a book that had a snake on the cover? <laughs> and I did love the book. It's a wonderful story about a family who is immigrating. Their devotion and never giving up and caring about each other were just so moving. And so in the end, you were able to get past the snake. <laughs> Why well, didn't look at it? Okay. All right, fine. Well, so the next novel was one that you actually bought with your own money, um, The <laughs> Island of Sea Women um, by Lisa C., which is a story of female friendship and secrets. I learned a lot about Korea. I learned a lot about the culture of this island. I loved it. Ask Again Yes, you thought it was one of the best novels of 2019. The characters were very, very strong, and I loved the way they loved and learned to forgive. It was a gripping story. And, and really, ultimately, about a family learning to forgive. I just, and I just, again, I agree with you. I just thought the characters were was extraordinary. Oh, you said that? All right. <laughs> I was listening to you, kind of. <laughs> All right. So, In Five Years by Rebecca Searle, I was crazy about the premise of it, the idea of a woman who uh, celebrates one night with her fiance, everything is going right in her life. She wakes up the next morning with a completely different man five years later. I love the way the friendship between Danny and Bella was portrayed. It was very moving to me. The last thing he told me by Laura Dave is a mystery about what happens when the love of your life suddenly disappears. I started reading it and I realized it was a mystery and I never read mysteries, but I loved this book and I couldn't put it down and read it in one day. The next novel is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr. It was one of the best books I ever read. And I remember the father so clearly and what an incredible character he was. I did love that book. Well, Anthony Doerr has written his next novel. It's called Cloud Cuckoo Land. And if you make me something nice for dinner, I am going to give you an early copy. I will make sure I do that. And finally, your favorite Simon & Schuster novel of all time is called The Dearly Beloved by Carol Wall. All the characters affected me. They were different and they changed during the book and got to understand each other. It was a story of friendship and faith. I don't think I should tell any more about it. I think everybody should read it. So Believe It is an inspirational bi autobiography by Jamie Kern Lima, a remarkable woman who uh, had a skin condition and decided to start her own company when she couldn't find a skin cream uh, that, that worked for her. People told her the skin cream wouldn't work, that she wasn't the right person to sell it. Um, she went on QVC, she sold it herself, uh, it became a huge business, and she wound up selling it to L'Oreal for a billion dollars. So it's this incredible Christian inspirational story, and, uh, and it's a number one bestseller. And what are you reading right now? I am reading the Paris Library, and I'm about halfway through it, and I like it very much. All right, well, maybe next year we will check back in with a review. Um, also, um, I hope you have a very happy Mother's Day. You, you've been an excellent mother, and, uh, and thank you for all the books, too. Thank you, and I hope I can give you a hug because you will have had two vaccines. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get out of this. I can't get out of Zoom. Oh, here I am. Now leave. Okay. <laughs>